कांता भाई सामने ही बैठी है एक बार बात कर लो ना आप बहुत तैयार करती है आपसे हाँ तो नाके पप्पी दे देगा उसको सर ये यहाँ का जो भी से जाके डूब के मर जाए What's happening, Munchers? My name is Harsh, and I'm Shreyas. Welcome back to Good Bad Filmy. We guys are back with another review, which yes. is Netflix Baby Sacred Game Season Two. Yeah. So this the series picks up right where Season One left off. There's a lot of you know mystery still around what's yes. happening. Yep. Mumbai is coming to an end in 25 days, 15 yes. days now, I think. 12 right? days. 12, 15 days. 15 yeah, something days. like that. Yeah. And yeah, so again, it picks up exactly where season one left off. Yeah. Sartaj and his team are trying to investigate and put everything like together. Put, put all the pieces together and right? right. understand what's happening. Yeah. And we find out more about yeah, down days past. Down days past. Which and means a lot of bench, match, bench. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of that there. And Pankaj Sivadi, man. Oh yeah. His third father. His third father, and Guruji. Guruji. Yeah, absolutely. Very uh, scintillating, emanating character. Yeah, absolutely. I have a lot of fun with him. At least. Yeah, and so what I love. Most most about this series right as of now at least for indian film making right now it's a step up absolutely yeah. just saying that the way everything is put together right. the story even yeah. in even, even the disjointed bits where right. they're doing the past and the present together right. and they're bouncing back and forth between both of them right i think it's done really well so yeah. for me i think that's what kind of elevates this series right. to like a really good series so yeah. let's just get into the goods and let's talk do about it. the goods yeah okay bye First and foremost, I really want to talk about the production design and the way this series has been shot. It's scaled up for sure. It is so, so, so much better than right. anything Bollywood out there right now. Agreed. The production design, the set design, the way things are shot, the way yeah. things are framed. Right. Just the trippy effects when they're on oh, drugs. I really like all that. of yeah. it is done so well. Right. It, it it just elevates the entire series for me, at least personally. I agree. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the moments, even the CGI, which you don't really expect a lot out yeah. of, uh, it was done pretty well. Like almost to the point that you don't even realize that yeah, how stupid is that or how glaringly you know right. it's right there. But it's done. They they've done it so so really well, well that you almost don't even notice and you just accept as a part of the story. So Absolutely. that was really cool. Yeah, for sure. And uh, apart from that, the characters are back. Oh, they're huge. They're really, really big. Yeah. yeah. Apun, Ashwatthama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pandit's party is a big part yes. of the series. Yes. He's phenomenal yeah. as Guruji. Right. He's a very mystical figure. Yeah, he's but controversial at the same time. Oh my God! Like he's like the like the worst villain type of person that you can have. But right. he's always calm. He's, he's so he's always in control. He's, he's always, always in calm. control. And right. those are the worst villains, man. They're the right. most menacing because yeah. you know they. On their faces, they don't seem like villains. Menacing, yeah. But he he is the one who's driving this entire plot. Right. You find out in season two, he's the one who's driving this entire plot of yeah. whatever is going to happen to Mumbai right. without ruining it. Yeah, and it's it's very Thanos-like where they wanna like get very rid true. of yeah very get true. rid of the world and like bring order to this new world and they've almost have like, given up on this world and they're like yeah we have to start afresh and this is this new world right. so yeah there's a lot of like. Propaganda cult level stuff. Absolutely, uh, this on. is a cult more or less. They yeah. have like proper followers. There right. are hundreds of followers. Yes, and they're doing some creepy ass shit. All of them together, man. Totally, and yeah, even stuff in and around like supporting cast. We have a character called Jojo. Who, if you remember, season one right in the starting, she's the one who's actually crawling on the, the floor. Yeah, she's the one who's dead. Yeah, and you know, guy on ends up you know shooting her, right. and then so that's there's a lot of exploration of her past as well. Totally, her, her and guy guy on the yes. uh, chemistry. Yes, there's, there's some sparks there. Yes. So all of that is explored. Guy Thornday, Nawazin Siddiqui, as usual, is phenomenal. Every yeah. time he's on Oof. the screen, you just you can't take your eyes off right. screen. And his abuses. Yeah, yeah. I think in his contract, in the script, there was like minimum three galis, <laughs> three scripts, some sentence. script. Yeah, first like sentence. Everything. So yeah, that was really cool. I enjoyed that personally. I a loved lot. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and this actually elevates. If talking about all of this, yeah. they're, they're, they've shown sex in Indian tel- cinema for the first time. Like, there how was sex is supposed to be rather than just two flowers kind of <laughs> doing, you know, kissing each other, and otherwise people just bursting out into a song. Right. They've shown sex. I'm like, wow, that's yeah. new. Yeah, I mean, in season one there was this like full blown topless yeah. scene and stuff, but here they've shown it. Uh, from like the, like there's a lot of group sexy <laughs> stuff going on which was yeah. weird the ashram the, the yeah, whole Osho Jesus. kind of vibe yeah, yeah exactly create, yeah, yeah, yeah they were, were trying to do that right. yeah and uh, yeah like we're talking about supporting cast they so, just went for it man very yeah. surprising Totally, and so much better than Radhika Apte, Anjali Mathur was oh, yeah. Yadav, ma'am. This raw operator now yeah. who sort of like, and she was, 
she's always in charge oh my man God. she's like amanda waller totally she's like the wall yeah, yeah. and and she's this very innocent looking bichari auntie type sort of person she doesn't talk loudly she's very soft spoken yeah. but she has yeah. guy tonde by the balls balls oh, all the time so yeah that was really cool absolutely yep what so, else i'm what guessing kind of that kind of puts an end to my good job what about you man yeah, yeah i think i'm done yeah, as well let's get into the bad <laughs> plot there's just way too much going on and uh, yeah in terms of like subplots also as well like you can you can always get lost in the way they're showing stuff yeah. which like makes it not tolerable yes it it's engaging it's interesting yeah. but in terms of you know what's actually going on and to end up to the penultimate bit i was feeling at a loss i'm like what the f- that like that was just like unnecessary mm-hmm. almost there are a billion people in the show there are yes. a billion names that you will not recall yeah. the plot is really convoluted to get from point a to b they go through x y z <laughs> so yeah it's a pain just keeping up with all of it season 1 yeah. did much better in my opinion S- by maybe. by 2 by the time you reach guruji and his arc yeah. and then you understand what's happening behind the scenes there is so much going on here that yeah. you just feel lost by the end of it yeah also not to give anything away no spoilers here But the finale, the ending uh, of the series, it ends in a cliffhanger which makes no sense. sense. I have no idea what these guys were thinking. Right. I, I personally, for like for one, hope there's no season three or four. I think that has to be because the way they ended it, 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 there has to be a continuation. But the shitty part is that the source material from the book is over. I, absolutely. So and they have plus, to start from scratch. Even the characters, there are, there are, there, there's not too much that you can do with characters now. Exactly. Left either. Yeah, yeah. So. so I have no idea whether they're going to go from here right. but yeah absolutely season 1 did much much better right. all in all and season 2 I think messed it up big time for right. me yeah There, there are so many subplots that they try wrapping up in just those eight episodes, and yeah. it's too, too less of like even we saw this with Game of Thrones as well, right? Yes. They tried forcing so much in so many, so, yes. so little episodes, right? The number of episodes, so little, like so few, yeah, yeah, that just didn't work out. Yeah, which is why like so many things were happening almost too quick. Like there's a part of the uh, story where Guy Tonde is obviously not in India anymore, right. not in Bombay, and he has to do the same kind of underworld gangster stuff, you know, make his mark yes, in the, right. in the, you know. sort of banned substances area and within seconds like he's there he's the done king. it yeah. he's the king yeah yeah and then he's bored and he's like apun ko wapas jana <laughs> so yeah i mean I, it's just too much happening too quick yeah. it's uh, all over the place i would say right, right. right. Yeah, second season is all over the place it's, yeah. it's not a bad watch but yeah there's a lot that it right. just leaves you wanting more right So all in all I think the series does transcend Indian television for what it is. Yeah. I don't think we have anything better on Indian television by like any means or okay. any lens that's even close to what this the series managed to pull off production design the way it's shot the way it's directed the way it's framed yeah. the effects the graphics yeah, all of it good. all in all it, this actually does you know elevate our s- standards i'd say as yes. for indian television right but it does fly too close to the sun at least season 2 flies too close to the sun and falls down mm. there's too much happening here so i did not enjoy it as much as season 1 right And I'm really, really surprised that they put in the um, a number of abuse and the number of sex scenes that they put in. Come on, what do you say? This is what we need. <laughs> I mean, coming from I mean, from the abusers' perspective, like Guy Tonde is still like owning every scene, every one, no matter how big or how small. Yeah. He's just spitting fire <laughs> to their faces. Those quips. Yeah, I mean, there's one part where that you know there's this guy called Chavedi, and you know they're all like searching for this for Guy Tonde, and he's you know hiding out in his bunker, and when he finally gets to meet him, he's like. Oh, I need this one thing, and all Guy Tonde does. <laughs> he turns yeah, he literally turns around, lifts his coat, and like, yeah, dance in the gallery types, you know. So like, yeah, I mean, like, even though he's down and out, and he has like yeah. almost almost work his way back from scratch, and like people are almost like puppeteering him. Uh, Guy Tonde still owns his shit, man, and he realizes it, but he's absolutely, still like absolutely. spewing it. And for me, center. he's the one who just kept me on yes. to the show. Like, yeah. I'm gravitating towards him, and I'm watching this series. Yep. Specifically, Nawazuddin Siddiqui, man, what oh, an yes. actor, what a guy, right? Phenomenal. Yeah, and also about Guruji, mm-hmm. where like the freaking ashram is like this world five seven star spa wow, in Croatia, it like normal. It looks something out of Blade Runner twenty forty nine. That's what we said. Like it was like the yellow nets and like the Jared Leto. And just the design is so futuristic like, and yeah. so like. simple yeah. but nice and yeah. elegant and, yeah. and i'm like wow man the, the set design these guys definitely had like a 
budget increase from season one. Yes. Clearly, half yeah. of it is shot abroad. Yes. Half of it is shot in like some five star, seven star property. Yes. So I'm I'm really happy for all of that, and right. I really hope we get more stuff like this really soon. Yeah. So production wise, presentation wise, total like two thumbs up. But Absolutely. I just wish. I mean, I know. I mean, it does seem very much so that there will be more seasons. They want to make more money from this. People want to know what happens because right. they ended it with a cliffhanger. But yeah, I'm not particularly looking forward to the story Absolutely. anymore. Let's get in the ratings. Man. Yes. Considering that I did have a good time just watching Guy Tonde spew his stuff left, right, and center, uh, but still, I mean, one time was enough for me. So yeah, I'm a clean one and done. Yeah, for me, I had I had a little fun again. Guy Tonde, as usual, was kick ass. Yeah. I really liked Sefali Khan's character. I loved Malcolm the assassin. Yeah. I was like, why? Like, what's happening with them? Why don't they show more of him? Because I I thought he was really intriguing. Right. But all in all, yeah, this season was not as good as the first one. I would give it. Worth a watch, maybe. Yeah, worth a watch. So that wraps up our review of a Secret Game season two. Yo. Let us know what you guys thought about the season yep. in the comments below. Yeah, because like the reviews that we've been saying online, like right. they're saying X, like minus the end. They're very divided. Yeah, minus the ending. They said it's insane. Yeah. I, I'm not on that train. I'm yeah, sorry. absolutely. Uh, some of them said that it's way better than season one. Some of them are like, what's happening here? It makes no sense. Right. I'm somewhere in the middle. I enjoyed it for at least one watch. To I might, I might not revisit it again. If yeah. I do visit it again, it will be only for Ganesh Guy Thonde. It'll be for one scene for <laughs> particularly one scene <laughs> or a couple of scenes in particular. Right. But yeah, that that's our review here. Let yeah. us know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe as usual, guys. Yo. It was fun having you here. Be back for more. See you.